welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the actual recording process and how you record uh, your podcast now that you've found some music. So um, I have downloaded from Incompetech, as I discussed in my last video, uh, a song um, called Laser Pack, which is the one that I kind of like. So in my files, uh, which you're able to find on your Chromebook, if you go uh, into all of your apps, there's a little circle with a folder in it. That's the one we're looking for. Um, and so I found it. When you double click on a downloaded MP3 in Chrome, it pulls up a little audio thing here. So you should be able to see it's muted right now, but here's my music player. Okay, so um, this is just a, an easy way to control the music, turning it up, turning it down, starting and stopping. Uh, and you can do that while recording your uh, podcast. So Here's how we record, and we're just going to use Screencastify, which is a great tool, and if you don't have it added, it is an extension. Uh, it will connect to your Google Drive, so you do have to go through all of the, um, you know, giving it approval to use your microphone and your camera and all of that stuff. Uh, but I'm going to record the desktop. It doesn't really make any difference what I record, because I'm going to rip the audio from this video in the end anyway. Uh, I do want to make sure my microphone is on and that it is recording. And I also want to go to show more options and make sure that system audio is uh, also checked because if you're going to play sound effects or um, you know if you're going to play the opening song, closing song, whatever you want to do, that system audio needs to be um, checked as well. So I'm going to go ahead and record a short little video. You'll see it's going to start counting down here once I uh, do share my audio and share my screen. Um, so there's my countdown. One. I'm to play my song. I simply hit play. Here's my intro music. All right, now if I'm going to start fading out, hello and welcome to my bear podcast or whatever. And that's it. So then at the end of the song or the, the podcast, whenever I'm totally done, uh, I can do the exact opposite. And so I've gone through my entire podcast. And here I want my closing music to start. So I just hit play. Right now it's silent. And while I'm talking, thanks for listening and check out my later episodes near a Green and Barrett podcast. And then play that for a few seconds. Uh, and then when I'm done, I'm just simply stop it. You can stop that and that's the end of the podcast or fade it out, however you want to do it. So that's really uh, the whole thing. And, and you use uh, the notes on the screen. Uh, which would help you go through your podcast, say whatever it is that you want to say, and then you've got your opening and closing music. You can also uh, open any other MP3s you may have downloaded, um, sound effects or anything like that, um, to make your podcast a little bit more involved. Uh, but that's really that simple. And when you're done, go back to your Screencastify and simply stop it. So once you're finished recording uh, and you stop your recording, the Screencastify is going to open up a new screen showing you the video you just recorded. Uh, and we will take a look at how to rip the audio from that video so you're only publishing the audio side and you can just dis disregard the video. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in the next uh, video here on the series. So we'll see you in the next one.